Hello, my name is Doug Hubble and welcome to Astrophotography Tutorials. Today I'm going to talk about how to process your meteor shower photos that you take with your DSLR camera. Uh, just recently we had the big event of the Perseid meteor shower and that was a, a very nice uh, cluster of shooting stars coming out of the constellation Perseus. And I just wanted to show you what I've done, and if you have a better suggestion on how to do this, of course, I, I welcome your input. But this is what I what I did. Uh, first, I took the uh, the best, well, I guess the one that had the most meteors in one shot. In my case here, I have two meteors coming off the left and right, right there. Uh, I found that, and then I processed the Milky Way in this example the best I could, and then the what I did is I, I overlaid the, um, the the meteors as a composite on top of that. Now what I did, of course, when you get ready to do this, you're going to go through each and every individual shot. You're going to find out which ones have actual meteors in it, and then you'll know how which frames to bring in and, and overlay and composite into the image. So here's one right here. You can see this down here in the lower kind of left corner, kind of shooting to the left right there. Uh, what I'm going to do is hit Control A and that selects all of the image, then Control C to copy it. And what I'll do then is I'll take that and I'll paste that in as a layer, uh, not once but twice. And the reason I do this particular uh, setup this way is that I take the first layer that I put in and what I do with that is I say layer, layer mask, hide all. Okay, so now you can see right there where, the, where my mouse is, right on top of that, that's the layer mask that's uh, uh, hiding the image. Now I leave this other layer right above it so I know what to paint out and what to poke a hole through the layer mask to bring out the meteor. Now if you look right here, you can tell this is a meteor because it starts off green and ends up kind of red at the end. Uh, but anyway, you uh, take the brush, make a very small brush. In my case, I've got like a size 15 brush. And with that first layer right here, you have that selected. And you're going to be poking a hole through that layer mask. You're using this top layer, this layer 3 in this example, as a guide to know where you have to poke a hole through it. So then I'm just going to take my mouse and then uh, kind of go across it like this and paint that out. Okay, that should be good enough. Now if I take this layer off, I see that I painted that hole through the layer mask. Now I may have missed a few places. Looks like I missed a little bit right there. So I can now that I've got the basic outline of the the meteor shower, now I can uh, fill in any maybe the the places that I missed. And uh, anyway, you just go back and forth over that until you get the uh, the meteor to come through the layer mask, and then when you scroll back out you have that nice meteor in the composite there now what I end up doing with that is I'll typically like merge that down to the to the uh, the layer this this one that we did so I'll do a right click and say merge down and then this layer that we used as a uh, simple tool to uh, kinda show that where the meteor was I'll just trash that one down and it takes a little while to do this, but once you get done, you'll have a, a composite image, something similar to this. It was showing all of your, your, your meteors in one image. I always learn a lot from everyone, so please leave your comments if you have a suggestion on how to uh, better approach making a meteor composite. And, and if this is your first time watching, I would like you to subscribe. I publish two astrophotography videos on the 1st and 15th of every month. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you soon.